How's it going everyone? So the gimmick for tonight's stream is, is this bait or for real? We had the entire chat, well not the entire chat, but a lot of people in chat submit spicy hot gaming culture takes. And we are now going to decide if they're baiting us or for real. Do this, does this person really believe this? Or was it just an elaborate bait to make you mad on the internet? Which is very common. It's very easy to lie on the internet. I'm quite good at it. It's one of my favorite pastimes. I was lying on the internet just a moment ago. I fooled you all into thinking I was live. Which was very funny. And I almost nailed it. Anyways. So here's how it works. Show where you get to put your channel points on the line to see if you have what it takes to figure it out. Thank you, Tears A. I got an email too. Thank you, Tears A. So, here's how it's gonna work. On the Alpha Sus. Gaming. We're gaming, Nico and Otto. Here's how it works. You get one minute to place your votes. One minute. You cannot vote on your own submissions. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna, because only mod, mods cannot vote on submissions. Mods cannot vote in predictions. So I'm going to unmod everyone. You will maintain being a mod? No, you're not. Tierje is not. But, for example, if Dark Tierje were to be here, Dark Tierje will be a mod. And he will be able to help moderate the chat in case there are problems. But Tierje will not be a mod. Bro, is this music TMCA? No. Minimum bet is 10 channel points. Maximum bet is 250,000 channel points. Luckily, that's exactly how much you need to make. A submission that fools the highest percentage of voters gets $10. I will literally give you $10 if your submission was able to fool everybody. That's crazy, right? Only one person can claim it though, so we'll see how good your takes were. First voter to gamble enough to redeem break a plate also gets $10. And break a plate, Plate's price has been changed to 250,000 channel points. You're here for 10 bucks, baby. I hope you get it. Best of luck. So that's how it works. There's $20 on the line tonight. You either get me to break that plate, and it's right there. I just finished dinner. You can't see it because the the, the stream is covering it. Doosh. There's a plate right there on my bed. I'll fucking smash that shit. I don't give a fuck. If it's your take, you can't vote. You cannot vote on your take. So you cannot. You can only gamble on other people's takes. You have to accurately guess them. No collusion. No colluding. <laughs> That's the idea. All right. Let's get started, shall we? So first off, I have to demod everyone. Yeah, colluding is cringe. Unmod Tierje, Scary Monsters, Unmod Pokey. Okay, but don't bond me. Oh, yeah, 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 that's right. Yeah, you didn't actually. Wait, no. You want $10? In order to get the $10, you have to be demodded. You can't bet your channel points if you are a mod. If you don't want $10, then I can keep you as a mod. Unmod. Okay, fine, but I'm not happy. <laughs> Unmod Blaze of Stora. Unmod Rudu Ludo. Unmod I got a chub. Uh what mods are left? That's not a command. Unmod Kev TV. Unmod Nero. We have no mods except for Dark Tears, eh? So let's get started. Alright. Halo was never good. We're gonna start off with five takes from me. Just to get us into the swing of things. Halo was never good. Is this beta for real? You have one minute to vote. Wait, shit. I think I set three minutes for the first one. Okay, whatever. I don't know you, this is not fair. That's a personal problem. But does this sound like something I would say to make up on the internet to lie? And make people upset? Or does this sound like something I genuinely believe? Hey man, do you like Halo? I wonder, do I? Do I? This is a contest to find out if you are good at identifying bait on the internet or not. It's already looking kind of spicy. Can I get this in a pop-out? 
or the rewards queue. How can I get the predictions like as a pop-up window myself? I want that on an overlay. Is there not a good way to do that? That's cringe. What the fuck? Currently, it's 60-40 with 60% 60 of people thinking it's bait. Remember, you do have to get 250,000 channel points if you want to be able to uh, to get that 10 bucks. You mess misread this? Oh, embarrassing fuzzy. For real will always be pink and bait will always be the blue option. Fix the time on the next ones. Three minutes is a little long. Sorry for that. Halo is an interesting franchise because in modern times it's stayed as it was and it's sort of been left behind and it's sort of trying to emulate the modern shooter experience. Like it's added ADS and it added custom classes to try and emulate Call of Duty. Which is weird because it's considered very arcade. I mean, well, back when Halo first came out, it was considered very realistic. The whole only carrying two weapons. Halo made that, you know, compared to shit like Quake and, you know, Duke Nukem and shit like that before. You didn't use, you used to be able to carry a fuck ton of weapons, and Doom was seen, uh, and Halo was seen as overly realistic and weird. And now it's the opposite. Halo's occupi occupies a weird middle ground in the shooter ecosystem. And what's interesting about that is that when we're wondering if Halo was ever good, The answer is that it was! This is bait. Halo changed the meta of shooters forever. If you didn't play Halo in 2001, then you wouldn't get it. If you're playing Halo now, like, you don't get it. You don't get it. It seems generic. But Halo was quite good. Halo was quite good. This is bait. If you didn't get an Xbox on launch, you, like, it was, a, it was a changing experience, you know? Saying, it's a good game, but it's not a good X game, is cringe. Alright, I gotta start prediction again. Submission period, one minute, cool. Is this cringe, when people do this? Is this bait or am I for real on this? This feels like bait. How much, how much do you guys really know me? Because there's a lot of games that don't really fit the uh, the standard of their franchises. Breath of the Wild was a massive departure for the Zelda series. It very much does not play like a traditional Zelda game. If you were to say it's a good game but it's not a good Zelda game, it kind of feels like a valid statement for Breath of the Wild. But is it cringe of you to make that acknowledgement? Does it matter if genres adhere to the staples of their franchises? I feel like I've heard you say Dark Souls 2 is a good game, but it's not a good Dark Souls game. Have I said that? No vote from you at least? He doesn't want to gamble anything. Most people think this is real. Remember, you can always type in a custom amount, or you can just hammer the button. Alright, I spilled water all over my shirt. Embarrassing. This is real. Skyward Sword is a terrible game because it is too much of a traditional 3D Zelda. Breath of the Wild is great because it's barely a traditional 3D Zelda. Game series can and should evolve and experiment with new formats. Sticking to, too close to what you do is how you create a boring franchise. Embarrassing. We don't like that. We like to experiment. Let's fucking go, I know this motherfucker. Yeah, the series part, yeah. Terraria has more in common with Diablo than it does with Minecraft. Is this bait, or am I being serious? We all know I play a lot of Terraria. I love Terraria. It's a good game. I don't even disagree, but do you think I agree with this? I made these takes as a tutorial. You should be able to get these right. You should be able to get these takes right, these first five. This is a learning experience to get you in the flow of how this contest will work. Have you played Diablo? I don't enjoy Diablo, because it's boring clicking on shit. Borderlands is basically just first-person shooter Diablo, so I enjoy Borderlands. Oh, I said it for three minutes again. I'm cringe. But Diablo is boring, but the fundamental bones of Diablo are pretty good. 
on average, an average gamer would get this correct. Hmm. 27k points on the line already for this? I said it for the long time again, I gotta make sure I double check that. I don't have anything funny to say during this time. I was expecting to only go one minute, and I keep fucking selecting three minutes. This is bait, I'm beating you up. <laughs> Some smash. One sec. This music has me in the right mood. Nobody wants to say this is bait. Zero percent bait. If nobody votes bait, don't you guys just get your money back? Like, isn't... It's like a wager, you know? Yeah. Ties, I get ten dollars. <laughs> Can everyone really fall for something like this? For some reason you couldn't vote on this one? Hmm. Am I just that good at writing bait? Well, see the truth is, this is for real. Building and mining are two central aspects of the game, but getting the optimal gear for your playstyle, grinding loot, and fighting bosses is the core progression of the game, just like Diablo. And just like Borderlands, they're very similar games. The bones are almost identical. Yeah, that started to sound about right, right? So one of these is set to three minutes and one's not. I gotta make sure every time I set the submission period. Cool. Alright. Fall Guys was always destined to be a flash in the pan, bad game. Oof. Did Fall Guys have hope to have a long lifespan? <laughs> and if so, do I believe that? Did it live up to its destiny in just being a shitty fad game? Or did the devs fumble the ball? Sometimes there are those games that they pick up for a little bit and then they just poof. Look at H1Z1, you know. Look at Pub PUBG kind of- Fortnite- Fortnite somehow stuck with it. Their support was excellent. They just kept that game fucking rolling and sure like a lot of core gamers don't play it so much nowadays. But bitches still be playing Fortnite, you know what I'm saying? It's nuts. H1Z1, yeah. Yeah. Think about the culling, shit like that. There's so many flash in the pan games. Fortnite keeps supporting it, bit of crunch though, yeah, Fortnite devs are big fucked up. It's unfortunate what they have to do to uh, keep the, like, the, the content going at the pace, but that's how it is. Doing high risk, high reward? Ooh, everyone thinks this is bait. Well... <sighs> it's rough, because it is! It was bait. The instant it blew up, they needed to quadruple their fucking staff. They need to push out content like fucking madmen. Game would still be top of the pile if they had. Oh my god. They fucked up so badly. They fucked up so badly. Holy shit. What? What? Oh my god. Holy shit. They dropped one of the year's biggest balls. Too bad no one else is get betting big. Yeah. I gotta open up a notepad document because now I need to keep track of who, uh, who all is fooling how ever many people. That was that was big bait. It was not destined. It, that game could could have been a game changer. All right. Here. Oh, uh, no. One more from me. One more from me. Okay. Cool. One more from me. One more from me. The reason Sonic 06 is the disgrace that it is is because of how rushed the development was. Among Us has no new content after four months hype and is still rolling strong. Fall Guys never stood a chance long term. You might be true. I disagree. I disagree. I think there's room for coexistence because they were coexisting for a little bit of time. But Fall Guys just... Oh my god. They needed more maps. That season 2 update added like three levels. They needed 20. Holy shit. Is this really a hot take? Isn't this common knowledge? 
that Sonic 6 was shitty because of the rush development? See, some of them are harder than you think. Shadow was definitely not rushed, and it was also shit. It's true. Could Sonic 06 have been a good game if it had an extra year or two of development? Holy shit. Wow. Everyone thinks this is for real. No one thinks this is bait. One prompt was meant to be bait. Well, this one is bait. Sonic is murdered by a literal demon, then brought back to life by being kissed by a human woman. No matter how glitchy and rushed the gameplay was going to end up, the game would still be shit. It's fundamentally fucked to its core. Bad game. You can't fix the gameplay. I'm talking the game as a package. Story's important. You, no, look at the gameplay fundamentals of it, too. Imagine if you get rid of all the glitches. It's still a bad game. The physics aren't fun. The story is trash. There's three different characters. Playing as Silver sucks, even if there's no glitches. He sucks. It's not fun. Even though when it works right, it's not fun. You could put an extra year of development time on that game. It'd still be trash. Terrible game. Terrible game. Always. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Don't kiss hedgehogs. You can see it being passable. It could not be... The minimum it could hit is like the same quality as Shadow. Need a tie side trigger. Re re with a redesign, it would have been good. That would require an entire new game. That would mean like... I don't like uh, triggered emotes because uh, making light of when somebody is genuinely triggered by a uh, stimuli that gets them to their core isn't funny. It's insensitive. That's not like, a funny joke. We know how I feel about Shadow, so yeah, you're just in the minority on that one, Tuesday. All right, we're done with mine. And nobody guessed that that was bait. You guys are nuts. I guess the wording is the hard part. You guys, you gotta read them carefully. You gotta read them carefully. That's why you didn't vote, that's fair. This one comes from Luka Buka in the Remnants Discord, I'm pretty sure. Pokemon getting easier is a good thing. Is the Pokemon games getting easier in difficulty good for the franchise? Is this bait or is this for real? See, it's not good for you. I mean, I, don't, I believe it, but not everyone does so. It's fair. See, the reasoning if it's real, also if it's bait. Too many new Pokemons, they don't make sense. That has nothing to do with the difficulty of the games, though. Whether or not the game, you know, is easier in some respects doesn't change the fact that, like, it has more features than others. Better for the franchise, not the player. Hmm. Alright, submissions are closed. Uh, gotta write this down. So the answer here is that it's real. It is easier, for, it is better for franchise. It's for kids. Get over your nostalgia to play something else if you don't like it. It's an easy fucking game made for children. It's made for children. Masuda literally says that like every time when he makes a new game, he has to step away and forget about the core audience and make it like it's for seven year olds every time. It's for children. Understand that I would argue that it does make it more difficult. Yeah, it's literally made for kids. I mean, for the economy. <laughs> Stimulating the economy, I appreciate that. He fooled four people on that one. Four. I'll write the full fraction. Okay. Uh, four, I gotta make sure I get this in a format that I can understand. Okay. 
too bad they aren't even here. Yeah, they're not even here, which is fine. That's why this. That's why I chose the. You can vote by betting points, and you can get point money by having the takes. So it doesn't matter if they're here or not. All right, here's the next one. The only good thing about Neon Genesis Evangelion is the art. The rest is trash. From Oxbox. Got a mod. Got a mod Patrick for this one. Where's Dawson so I can beat him up too? Whether you hate it or not, do you think he's being real? Do you think he's being serious? Even Neon Genesis Evangelion is one of the most beloved uh, anime franchises. You know, big 90s bait. Only saw it recently. But is it actually good? Or is somebody relatively valid for thinking they hate it? See, so like, bait by the wording, trash? I don't know, people be saying anime is trash all the time, and they're being serious, you know? Alright. Well, I gotta write this. Yeah, yeah, one sec, one sec, one sec. Box, box. This one is four to one. And it's real. He says the writing is masturbatory and trying too hard to be so intellectual and is basically just I am very smart sag bait. Your points! Oh no. That hurts. That really hurts. Good thing I didn't bet. See, some of these, it's wise to just hold off on. Is he wrong? Like, I get it. I get not liking it. It is, it's definitely masturbatory writing. Seeing as so you don't have an important, informed opinion, and that's why it's okay to not vote. Yeah, I get what he means. I think he's a little harsh, but sometimes we have strong feelings, you know? And also the eyes of God. <laughs> Alright, here's the next one. Oxbox writes again, Majora's Mask is better than Ocarina of Time, but worse than Oracle of Ages and Seasons. The Link to the Past is worse than all of these. This is a Zelda franchise post. He's Zelda posting. This is real, I'm gonna fight someone, not gonna vote because I don't have an opinion on Legend of Zelda, that's fair. I will beat this guy with a pool noodle. Remember, you can always win big. You can profit big. Nice tie, thank you. This is the classic esports ties I tie, and it has been sitting dusty in my closet for a while. Ever played Ages or Seasons? They're quite good. But are they better than Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask? Taizai is Tai. They used to call me Taizai the Tai guy at tournaments. And, and it helps people remember the pronunciation, so whatever. Okay. The answer to this one is that he's real. I will not be taking questions or criticism at this time. Sometimes the real opinion seems like bait and that's where the real problem lies. I will criticize and question his ass. <laughs> Never played the Oracle games with them being brought up at all made me think real. Yeah, nobody has an opinion on... Nobody brings up the Oracle games unless they have a very passionate opinion about them. Cringe takes remove the rest. <laughs> oh, this is fun. We got one more from Ox. 3D Sonic games are clearly worse than 3D Mario games, but 2D Mario Sonic games are better than 2D Mario games. This is a fun one, and I know me and Alvi both ha could have an hour-long conversation about this. Good thing I wasn't invested enough in Zelda to be mad. You know what, I personally agree. When you compare the broad spectrum of 2D and 3D games, 3D Sonic is Odyssey, Galaxy, 
Huh? No way. Better. But 2D Mario games... You know, when we compare the new Super Mario Bros. games, Super Mario World, you know... All these. But I know this guy disagrees with everything I know. <laughs> and what defines a better game anyway, you know? 3D Mario games suck, 2D Sonic are great. Kind of cringe right there. 3D... Oh wait. Yeah. Odyssey's a treasure. Odyssey's an amazing ass game. Alright. So three people said bait. Four people said real. Now this one is bait. Sonic games have better visual design and way better music. But Lamau, just play a Sonic game and then play Super Mario World. <laughs> Hear me reporting Oxbox. <laughs> Super Mario World is a very good game. Not including Odyssey, loved Odyssey. Odyssey Galaxy, oh, 3D Mario is great. Yummy, yummy channel points. Yeah, like, I'd, I'd, I'd rather play Sonic 3 Knuckles over Super Mario World, but Mario World, I can understand people saying it's an objectively better game. A lot of games are kind of weird. Yeah. We're done with Oxbox, so let's unmod him. And let's mod KevDZ TV. Kevin said, Breath of the Wild is better than Ocarina of Time. Oh shit! We did that. Kinky with the gifts up for Nico? Thank you! Thank you! Let's go. Oh shit! Kurt, what the fuck? Oh my god, I didn't notice it was just Nico. What the fuck? How many subs is that? That's five? Why the fuck did you do that? Holy shit. Everyone vote, by the way. The, the timer's ticking. Why the fuck did you do that, though? Thank you. Holy shit. Kurt, you didn't have to do that. What the fuck? Because you for legit forgot to do the survey? I mean, that's fine. You didn't have to. But thanks for giving me money so I can give it to other people. And your stream is dope, thank you. I appreciate that a lot. I do appreciate that a lot. Thank you, holy shit. What the fuck? What's the fuck up for that one? Alright. Alright, alright. Timer closed, so I gotta choose the outcome now. Kev. Kev Deezy. So, it was one to four. Breath of the Wild is better than Ocarina of Time. The answer is that it's for real. He said, I think they nailed the open world and the storytelling was beautiful. Kevin is a really, really big Ocarina of Time fan, but he was blown away by Breath of the Wild. I get it. This dude would jerk Breath, uh, Ocarina of Time off every day and then he played Breath of the Wild and he was like, they beat it, whoa. He loved it. Because of the odds, fair. Fair. Alright. Played Ocarina of Time every year for like 10 years straight. Yeah! Like, when I heard him say that, I was like, I believe it, but that's nuts. Nintendo really do be making good games. It's kind of nuts. Squirtle is the best Gen 1 starter. Is it? I know this is a very contentious one. Only 90s kids relate to this. But does he think that way? How much are you willing to put down? <laughs> no. Why do I have the mod icon on my chat? I don't know, dude. Squirtle's based. I fucking love Squirtle. Squirt, squirt! I love that motherfucker. Iconic ass design. Damn, 50 50! Yeah, Squirtle Squad, motherfuckers. That shit's great. I think he's the best, personally, but all three of them are amazing. And the vote is ended at 3 to 4? And 
the outcome is bait. Bulbasaur is obviously the best. God bless that cabbage frog. He actually likes Bulbasaur. I accept that take. You have the exact same take. Bulbasaur gang. Yeah. Most people go with Char Charmander, right? But Kevin is... <laughs> Bulbasaur fans. <laughs> Embarrassing. Whatever. None of them are good. Gen 2 best. Fair. Alright. Unmod. KevDZ TV. Slash mod, scary monsters TV. By the way, if you act up if you, while you have the sword temporarily, I will shoot you permanently. Don't do that. This is just for the channel points. Alvi says Sonic Adventure 2 is the best Sonic game. Is he being for real? The best Sonic game? Out of all of them? Sonic 3 and Knuckles? Sonic 2? Sonic Generations? It's the one I remember the strongest. Oh, I think a lot of people can say that, you know? Name any other Sonic game that's more iconic. Sonic 1, Green Hill Zone. I mean, Sonic 1's not that good though, but yeah. Alvin, put 3k in you if you let me down. <laughs> She's betting big. The best Sonic game. Sonic Mania? Alvi hasn't even played Sonic Mania. He's so fucking dumb. He's so fucking dumb. That alone skews the results. He hasn't even played Sonic Mania. You fucking fool. You imbecile. What the fuck are you doing? Play Sonic Mania. Mania is so good. Sonic Mania is more like Sonic Snore. Embarrassing. Embarrassing. This one's 4 to 3. And? He's being for real. Yeah, I admit, I had a better time playing it than any other game. Even Generations. Crazy. Yeah. Kinda weird. Tiny Chow Garden based, yeah. Chow Garden is based. But he was being for real. Alright. Next prediction. Devil May Cry 5 was 2019's Game of the Year. Devil May Cry 5 came out last year, and it's very good. I'm playing through it right now. I might be playing more after we finish the show, or I might do it another night. I don't know what I'll be doing after this show is done. But Devil May Cry 5 is amazing, and I love it. But was it the best game of 2019? There was Fire Emblem Three Houses. Sekiro. Disco Elysium. Uh, I can't think of them off the top of my head. You know? Mario Maker 2? This one's tepid on the results because nobody can fucking remember 2019. <laughs> DMC games are just good video games? Fair. Fair. Results are shaping up, though. Results are shaping up. Two to five. Two to five. So it, it, what's interesting is more points are leaning towards bait, but less people voted bait. More people voted real, but put more points on bait. And what's interesting about that is that it was real. Wait, no, bait. It was bait. No, sorry. I, bro, you forgot this. I put the wrong image. I put the wrong image. I fucked up on the prep work. It's bait. It's bait. It's bait. It was bait. Bro, you forgot the Disco Elysium. I messed it up. I messed it up. It's- imagine- 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 Bait. You forgot the Disco Elysium. It's fine. It was bait. Disco Elysium is very good. I'll, I bought it and I haven't played it yet. Now the Steam shared it from me and yells at me to play it. I'll play it eventually. Give me a short synopsis of it. Don't spoil it in my chat. Anyways. Let's turn that back on. Alvi's next one is Minecraft peaked with the adventure update slash Ender Dragon. 
Can you even dance? And when was Minecraft at its best? Yeah. Is Minecraft better now than it was when it first launched and had the Ender Dragon in it? It's a CRPG tier, Jay. This one's tepid. Alvi, a lot of your, jo your baits were funny, but... They're not spicy enough that people are gonna go all in on them. I, I guess that's what makes them good baits, though, right? Good takes that people aren't sure which side of the line. They're not. They're not ready to dump all their votes, and they're not super confident in it. More people saying this is for real than, or more. It's even actually three to three. Three to three. But more points are put on for real. The outcome is that it is bait. Adventure updates suck, Lamau. Anything before and after is better. The, the world generation around the adventure update was kind of funny. It was weird. Beta gen had better generation, and also having an endgame was just kind of half-baked until they added more features later on. They weren't even villagers till 1.2. Like, yeah. Yeah, Minecraft got better with the updates, for sure. <clears throat> Dark Souls 2 is better than Dark Souls 3. Alvi, world-renowned Dark Souls 2 fan. <laughs> Gonna sell real for having cringe takes before. <laughs> How cringe is he? How refined is his taste on the Dark Souls franchise? Bro, wait, this is my take? Tierjay feels this way. Well, then it must be bait, because nobody agrees with Tierjay ever. It must be. Alright, four to three. And the answer... You have the most fucked up takes. The answer is that it's bait. What the fuck? Actually play them. How could you ever think 2 is better? Sure it has cool mechanics, but playing is like grinding a steel rod against a chalkboard until it's gone. A bit dramatic. But, you know, I can't say I disagree. Actually play them. What the fuck? <laughs> Holy shit. When was the last time you played Dark Souls? Holy shit. What the fuck? Good job, Alvi. Good job, Alvi. Good takes. Unmod. Scary monsters. There's TV. Mod Rudoludo. How many bait takes were we allowed to make? You're allowed to make. You had to include one of each, basically. And then I didn't use all of everyone's. If you if your take isn't if some of your takes aren't included, that's because they were either cringe or just not funny and like don't play well for show. Because this is all for comic, to be honest. So, some takes are good and fair, but sometimes they're not funny. So, I didn't include every take. Yeah, you could have put and submitted way more fuzzy. Remove mine, they suck. Well, we have one of yours on screen right now. Getting rid of Tetra's tan when she turned into Zelda was the biggest L of Wind Waker. Was it the biggest L? Was it the worst design choice in Wind Waker? Hmm. Hmm. No bigger problems? What the fuck, Tetra is Zelda? <laughs> you don't play Zelda games? Cringe. Embarrassing. Anyone feel like easy points? Maybe they're a little harder than you think. 
I'll sub goal Zelda games. No. You didn't like the Zelda design in Wind Waker? Biggest L. The single worst part of the game. That's not the biggest L at all? Well. This was one to five. And she was being for real and didn't offer an explanation. Try four shards? No! Alvi disagrees. Based. <laughs> How is that based? You just you just said you don't agree with her. Whitewashing is cringe. Whitewashing is cringe. Suddenly, now that she's no longer a thief and a criminal, she's white. Isn't that great? Isn't that great? When she w when she when she's rich and royal, she's white, and then when she's a criminal and squalor, she's brown. <laughs> what the fuck, Nintendo? Holy shit! What the fuck? What the fuck? Worst, biggest L of the game? That's that's debatable, depending how much you like the Triforce starts, right? But that's a very weird champ of Nintendo. Always gave Vagrant Stark skin, it's bullshit. Yeah, yeah. Shards were hell, but it was whatever. Yeah, I actually, I like the shards. I like being forced to explore, because exploring the world's cool. I, I like Wind Waker a lot. All right, unmod. I keep typing umod. Ludo Ludo. And we'll mod GCism. Souls games are badly designed. How bad is Alex's taste? Let's think here. I wish I had the Star Lord. <laughs> you know, everyone has different opinions when it comes to uh, media, you know, when it comes to game design. Some, many would argue that the interconnectedness of the world of Souls games is a very big disappointment and that it is terrible. Well, not that, but like the design and the, the combat is terrible and it doesn't allow you to engage with this world properly. You haven't spoken to him in years? Yeah. It's probably real. Hmm. It really depends on knowing how everyone feels about difficulty in games and how much they integrate like interface with the deeper layers underneath the game you know the design specifically not the actual gameplay the tough part about the, this game is that some people actually believe this <laughs> when you think about souls games from a de design standpoint they're kind of whack mm, do you really think that or is that bait which it is souls games are very well designed you're just bad at them You're just bad at them, and that's okay. Not everyone is good at video games, but you're just bad at them. Yeah, yeah, easy. Dark Souls 1 is objectively weirdly designed. You're wrong! Unless you're talking about the latter half of the game, after you get the teleporting. Kind of weird then, yeah. But before that, it's absolutely perfect. Modern Warfare 2019 is the best Call of Duty since Black Ops 1. Any COD fans in the chat? Anyone have opinions about Call of Duty? Yo, Blops 1? I'm back to the points I began with at the start of the stream. <laughs> Dude, nobody- I expected people to be multiplying points like a madman. Should I lower that? I expected people to be going dunk, 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 dunk. You have 86k? I guess that's not that much to scoff at, yo. Please bet more. <laughs> yeah, you guys kind of kind of weak on the bets. If only one, I I was expecting people to go all in nonstop, like just again and again, non all, all in, all in. It's no fun if you're only dropping like twenty. Drop a couple thousand. Oh shit. Oh my god. <laughs> then he dropped twenty thousand. <laughs> Holy shit. 20k in bait. Lad. One sec. So this was 3 to 2. Lad. Make minimum bet way higher. I don't know. I don't think I can adjust that. Actually, maybe I can. This is real. 
They redesigned the engine to feel like not Call of Duty. Modern Warfare is actually pretty good. Fuck. Let me see if I can adjust the minimum. I can't. I can't adjust that. That's just how Twitch works. You're up so many points. Imagine losing channel points. I don't like this person. It's true! It's literally the best one since Black Ops 1. It's literally true. You're foolish. This is real. Oh, I wrote 2 to 2 when it was 3 to 3. Okay. You don't know shit about Cod Fair. All anime has terrible writing. He's a centrist. I'm gonna let you guys argue about that one. I ain't touching that one. All right, gamers. I try to get my point points back or die trying. How do I bet? Uh, you click on the channel points thing in the bottom left, and you—it's at the top there. I guess I should have gone over that. Well, it, it was—I went over it at the beginning of the stream, but. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. You're running out of time. Go, go, go. I think you are out of time. Alright, choose outcome. Wait, hold up. I gotta... So, four to three. Slightly more people think this is bait. Well, Alex believes it's real. And says, fuck anime. <laughs> he hates anime. <laughs> He hates anime. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> he hates anime. Holy shit. I hate GCE, but thanks for the points. <laughs> ah, I'm starting to get the hang of this game. <laughs> hey, you mod me so I can ban that. <laughs> this one was perfect for this show. This one was fucking great. Holy shit. Fuck anime. Okay. Unmod GCism. And mod Chronotron. This is Darian. Oh. Darian says Among Us public lobbies are actually pretty good. Darian's on thin fucking ice. <laughs> Can you have fun in Among Us public lobbies? Well, if that's the only way to play the game, it's kind of embarrassing. I feel bad for you if you are playing public lobbies, but maybe they actually can have fun. Maybe I'm too cynical, right? Maybe I'm far too cynical. You know? I don't know. I've never tried it. I stick to pre-mates, which are very hard to organize, actually, because gamers are fickle and don't like to be down to play video games, but... That's how I have fun. But perhaps you can have fun in other ways. 50% of, of Among Us memes came from pub lobbies, that is true. At the end of the day, I shouldn't be mad for losing virtual points that no one else has because they don't watch the stream as much as me, and <laughs> it'll scope me up. Rivals after this? Maybe. Maybe, actually. Wow. This is seven to two. And Darian says, this is real. He didn't offer ex an explanation. But he has fun with Among Us public lobbies. Good for him, I guess. Good for him. <laughs> Anyone near level 19? What's your level? Feel free to share your level in the chat. How do you have fun in Among Us public lobbies? I don't know. 
I don't know. I don't get it. But he's being serious. Alright, next one. World of Warcraft is worth the time and the money. <laughs> if you don't know, you can always not vote. But... Facts, Kevin agrees. Never seen Chrono talk about WoW. He doesn't talk about it in the stream that much, I don't think, either. But this one's on principle. <laughs> of course, Kev says that. <laughs> yeah, of course, right? Yeah. It's worth if you got friends to play with, Sag. Oof. Adjust my mic because that shit keeps appearing. What the fuck? Alright. We are five to four on this one. And the outcome is that it's bait. And he said, Do I need to explain? Do I need to? Time and money? You know how much fucking time it takes to level in that fucking game? You know how many games I can play in the meantime? I've legit made 70k points. Holy shit. We're not even halfway through the show, I don't think. It only takes 12 hours to level from 1 to 60 now. I guess. Ugh. Then you gotta buy like all the expansions too, right? I don't fucking know, whatever. 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 It's bait. He does not think it is worth the time and money. Well, that was not fun and I'm willing to die on that. I agree with you. I do agree with you. David Cage makes good story-driven games. Beyond Two Souls. Heavy Rain. Uh, Detroit Become Human. Do people think these are good games? What's the heavy <laughs> Indigo Prophecy? Yeah, yeah. Jason! Jason! Press X to Jason. Darian's kinda cringe though. <laughs> but is this bait? Is he having a funny laugh at your expense? Alvi's made 70,000. Holy shit. That is so funny. That is so funny, actually. Trying to go by the patterns, I'm gonna say this is bait. It's 50, it's literally 50 50 on points. But not on votes. On votes, it's 6 to 2. With the answer being that it's bait. He doesn't! He does not. That was bait. Ah, GG's got, got him. Got him. Alright. Unmod Chronotron. Mod Joe 47. Start a prediction. Dark Souls games are actually just rhythm games. A lot of takes about Dark Souls. It is a quite, uh... Incendiary franchise. This is a weird take. I'm all for weird souls takes, but this one takes the take. Who the fuck is Joe? They're a regular. They come around quite quite often. Show it yourself. I mean, the one dude did beat this game with the DDR pad, right? Kind of impressive. In for 69 points. That's so low. Make that 69k. Silence. Cringe. Low T amount of points. Beta ass points. I can compare Dark Souls to like Guitaru Man. I'm, I don't even know what Guitaru Man is. 
betting slightly lower for the odds. All right, this one was one to eight. Oh, wow, that is quite a ratio. Luckily, the answer is for real. If you don't know why, you haven't paid enough attention. Good fucking take. It's actually pretty good, right? Fuck, I've never played a Souls game. Come on, Alvy. That's like all the boss fights are. Yeah, it's just timing. It's literally all it is just... Now's when I hit B, now's when I hit R1. You get the cadence going. Sometimes you're just feeling in the rhythm, and that's when you're really doing good on the fights. Yeah, I see where it's real. Video games without combat often end up more deep and better than video games with combat. Hmm. Depth is subjective, yes. Here's the thing, too. What do you consider combat in a game? Do you consider combat like... Dark Souls swinging and dodging, or is chess a combat game? Is a strategy game a combative game? Or are we talking like mano a mano, me versus the opponent, you know? And what is depth? You think you see how this person thinks? Gonna go with real? That's another part of it, right? Is based off the phrasing, trying to figure out if they're baiting you into thinking one way or if they genuinely feel a certain way. And sometimes you can pick out patterns if there's a few in a row. Psychological warfare. Fuck you guys, don't vote with me. <laughs> what do you consider often? More, more than not, I would say. All games are bad because we're just wasting our time to cope. Literally no one is gonna win points. Yeah, that's the problem sometimes. Dude, all these people voting bet, no bait, nobody's throwing points on it. <laughs> 79 points to a thousand. Submission's closed. One sec. This one is two to six. The answer is real. Listen, I love video games with combat, but it's rare for them to be more deep than video games that don't have it. We can all have our own opinions about that, but that's how Joe feels. So, you know, you were right. You nailed it. You figured out how they think. It's a minute to vote, Zylance. You gotta be on that shit. You're getting this person. You're getting it. You're getting it. I disagree. Chess is one of the deepest games ever, and that's a combative game. You know, Mario Party is probably deeper than Dark Souls, yeah. Ooh, and now we're getting incendiary. Hold up, hold up. Unmod. Mod Blaze of Astora. Oh, he isn't here. Cringe. Embarrassing. Blaze says, realistic games are only good if the gameplay itself is actually fun. Minor week, I'm half busy. Yeah, incendiary, I meant blaze as a person. Not as takes, his takes are not blazing. This is just facts. Some people are very into the immersive realism of games. They want to be fully immersed in a world. And that's the thing that's most important to them, is feeling like they are a part of a world that truly exists. Baiting bait for the odds. Is Red Dead 2 actually fun, or are the controls unwieldy because they're trying to try to be realistic? Holy shit, there's a lot on the line on this one, what the fuck? Why are you guys doing so much on this one? Weird. You guys are weird. What the fuck? Blaze takes. This one was two to seven. The seven people being correct and saying that it's real. He's offered no explanation because it's just true and we all know it. It's the easy one that's got a lot of points, yeah. It's just real. I was greedy. <laughs> Fair. Sometimes you gotta be greedy. Probably could've gone all in on that one. Yeah. Yeah. The next one, Neon Genesis Evangelion is actually a really well-written and complex story that deserves the hype. Another Evangelion take tonight? That's crazy. Everyone has an opinion on this shit, huh? 
It already have 667. Let's go Fortnite God. Evangelion takes weebs. Everyone's got an opinion about this fucking show. Whoa. Oh, big money on bait. Holy shit. You really think both ta Evangelion takes don't like the show? It's one of the most popular anime in existence. It's widely acclaimed, it's won awards. What the fuck? You think everyone talking about this show tonight hates it? Someone's gotta be filthy fucking rich on the real side if this is real. Yeah, that's crazy. This is one of the most acclaimed anime in existence. Why would he bait? Well. Oh shit. That was four to three. And it was easy bait. He says bad. That scary was blazed for a second was medicating. <laughs> Blaze says bad. Enjoy 1 20th of your points. <laughs> Diminished returns. How many points? Alfie big stacking. Holy shit. This is fun. I like this. This is a lot of fun. We can't just keep doing takes though, but we're gonna have to find other ways to doing this. This is this is really fun. 203.5k? What the fuck? Holy shit! Unmod Blaze of Astora. What's uh I think his username's just A battery, yeah. Invalid username. Oh he's not here, whatever. I don't care about modding him. All right, competitive Smash isn't actually fun. It isn't fun. Oof. I think a lot of us, well, a decent enough, enough, a decent amount of us come from competitive Smash background. I, you know, I used to be Mr. Esports man, but I didn't actually compete because I didn't have fun playing the game, but a lot of people did. I was a producer. I worked on the back end. Name one time you've had fun playing competitive Smash, fuck Smash, free Nintendo. <laughs> For context, this is somebody from the Remnant server who was uh, somebody who had hard times with them when certain people in the competitive community had, you know, allegations, and uh, we're no longer welcome. So this is somebody coming from the Smash scene, placing this vote. After Remnants, yeah. It's okay, we're gamers now. Overwritten with 10k, damn. Alright, this one. Four to six. More people thinking it's real. Because they're smart. Sure, the community is nice to be with, but Smash isn't actually fun to play in a competitive setting. How much have you missed? A lot, Alex. Don't worry, you're only an hour late, and we already went over yours, and everyone hates you. Everyone hates you. Is just sensible? It's it's fair. It's I get it. Actually playing the game competitively isn't that fun. It's a great esport, and I love watching competitive Smash, but holy shit, I don't want to play that. Dude, the last tournament I entered was because I was playing Falco and I ran into a decent puff and I was like, holy shit, I literally can't play the game unless I put in way too much effort. And it's not fun. I don't want to do that. So I did stop. This person probably had the same problem. I get it. Y'all can choke on my points. You misread it. Oh, Xylance, that is so sad. I don't think it's fun in the explanation. Well, that's the point. These are all about opinions. It's all about opinions. Generalization like this is a poor sport, ammo. That's fair, but you know, is the, ev everything is an opinion, you know? I can't read. That's the point of it? These are all opinions at a base level? Yeah, we're not trying to argue whether some things are objectively true. We're just trying to figure out if this is an opinion that they really believe or if they're just trying to make you mad on the internet. This is something he really believes. We all know it's an opinion. That's the point. So, it's fine. But he got you guys. He doesn't have fun with competitive Smash. Because most of my statements are general. It's fine, but like, both are fun, you know? There's an objective way to put out opinions. 
fair. I mean, I'll, sh I'll shake on that, but it's the they both work for this show. His next take, Mario games are so overrated. It's just the same shit over and over again. For how many times they made New Super Mario Bros. New Super Mario Bros. New Super Mario Bros. Wii. New Super Mario Bros. 2. New Super Mario Bros. Wii U. New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe. This is just... This. Holy shit. Holy shit. Same shit. And you know, I love Odyssey, but I can understand why somebody would be like, you're just running around grabbing fucking moons. There are certain levels of innovation between the next games. In the 2D games, not for sure. In the 3D games, yes, but I can understand somebody not being interested in those. We wanted 10 points for the meme. Mario bad? What? That's crazy. I think for this show, I should be having them light on. Fuck Nintendo, hashtag free smash. This was three to seven. And yeah, you guys are right, it's bait. Mario's based. How's it going, Toby? Mario games are based. Odyssey is a treasure that everyone should enjoy. Need to metagame people's profile pictures. That's funny. Nah, I'll go with the light off. I'm actually gonna pee real quick because I drink a shit ton of water. So, uh, enjoy some music real quick. That'd be the funny bit, yeah, I agree. Don't worry, there are plenty of friends in the Taizai TV stream. We're all friends here. Even when we're pissing each other off by abating and lying. It's part of the fun. I need to watch the VOD and see how angry everyone got. Yeah, no, it'll be great. I literally might, like, put this out on YouTube because it's pretty funny. It, I, I would very much recommend it, Alex. All right, supporting small content creators is so much better than supporting big content creators. Is he being serious? Zylan said nothing about WoW. I mean, uh, GCism said nothing about WoW. Imagine the spin bait, that would be really cringe. Now again, I didn't choose every take that people submitted because some were cringe, some were boring, and I chose ones that basically were either interesting and hot and contentious and would spark arguments, or that were funny. And good setups for jokes. Can you say ooh-woo? No. No. Because I don't feel like it. I am not a monkey made to perform tricks. Unless you give me money. Unless you give me money. Then perhaps, perhaps things can change. This was three to six. Well, the answer to this one is, did you know 
that if you have Amazon Prime, you can get a free sub to your favorite streamer like me. You can support your small content creators that enjoy making fun, high effort content for you, like this game show right here, right now. Did you know? It's totally free. And in fact, if you want, you can even support me for just $5 a month with a regular Twitch Prime subscription and gain access to some of the best emotes on the platform. Did you know that? It's very easy. Like that. Just like that. Yeah, all right, he makes a good point. Yeah, shake, shake, shake. What did Nico say? Oh, my sizzling take's gonna show up eventually. You're, the few years are in here. Sub hype. <laughs> what the fuck? Thank you. Thank you, Alex. Very fun. Very good. That's why I included this one, was for the funny meme opportunity. All right, maybe chill it with a little bit with the emotes, fam. I do appreciate the hype, though. <laughs> a little, a little, a little we, we can drop it down a couple octaves. And we have a guest star, Max Ketchum. Can you believe it? I actually know this gentleman. He's a friend. Max Ketchum said one billion lions would defeat one of every Pokemon. A billion is a lot. A billion is a lot. Absolutely a lot. Thank you. Thank you, friend. Look at all these friends giving me their five dollars for making good content. Isn't that great? I love it. This is one of the baitiest baits. One second. Let's see if we, we let's see if we can do something really funny here. Oh my god. Oh, walking up and down the stairs just made all the alcohol course through yeah, my body. Stood up and it fucking hit you, dope you got like five people? Let's fucking go, Roberto. Boys, I'm I'm off the shit. <laughs> and the nicotine too, I imagine the nicotine just fucking punched you right. I don't know what you're talking about, man. I, I don't do that. Mind telling chat who would win between the lions or the Pokemon? Bro, all I'm saying is that no lion would ever get one shot by a fucking Goldeen horn drill. That's true. What level are lions by default, do you think? 69. <laughs> Makes a lot of sense. Boys, I. Oh my god, it all hit me at once. Anyway. <laughs> it's bait. I mean, it's real. It's real. A billion is a lot of lions. It's so many lions. <laughs> it's so many lions. It's so many lions. <laughs> A million for Pokemon, way more than that, actually. It's so many lions. That was a guest appearance from Max Ketchum. Should have bet 100k, you really should have. Max also says they'd run out of PP fast and they'd struggle the Pokemon to death. There are so many of them. Max also says Breath of the Wild sucks. No. 
have I made a terrible mistake? It's hard. It's a very divisive game. It is a very divisive game. It says silence, not voting. Cringe. I'm in the salt mines and I'm just betting opposite of what I feel. <laughs> if we're actually just having dust between the villains and lions and not just using it as justification why they shouldn't be billionaires, then you have to decide if it's game logic or movie logic. Either way. Game logic, it's very decisive. Movie logic, it's a little bit more of a conversation, but either way, billion lions, bro. You have zero points? Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> That's funny. That's hilarious. Alright. Breath of the Wild? Bad? Yes. Open world games are boring and a tired gimmick. Max does not like Breath of the Wild. I disagree. I think Breath of the Wild base, but I get it. I've lost it all. I got no points. Holy shit. <laughs> I was gonna gift him a sub after the lion thing, but now. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Movie logic is low key free to the Pokemon because these Pokemon have some wild powers. We're moving on from that one. But yes, uh, Max does not like Breath of the Wild. Next one Super Mario Galaxy really isn't that good. Good Nintendo games, not actually good. At the end of the day, a plate is getting broken. It's true. It's almost certainly true. It doesn't say two, that's true. But would it make a difference? I actually haven't finished two, but I've played one a shit ton. Yay, 10 points. Hope you don't lose them. One is magical. It's true, yeah. It's a magical game. Oh shit, now you're gonna gain points a lot faster, Xylance. Thank you, Kevin. Thank you. Maybe I should do more content streams more often. I'm getting a lot of money, what the fuck? <laughs> Double points. Actually, it's not double, it's 1.2 times. They changed it. They nerfed it. Cringe. But yeah. So, is this bait or is this for real? Missed the double points so bad. Yeah, they fucked it up there. I get it, but double points was so good. Double points. Well, he says real because running around on spherical surfaces is annoying. It probably wouldn't have made a difference if it was Super Mario Galaxy 2. Why would they nerf it? Yeah, I don't get it. This guy mad stupid! <laughs> Mario Galaxy is amazing, but I could understand somebody getting annoyed. Four points left until you get a new game on your backlog? Oh no. <sighs> yeah, real. I think that's all I got from Max? Yeah. Unmod Max catch him. Mods? I didn't mod him in the first place. Oh, I forgot to unmod Darian. Cool. And we'll mod for Mages real quick. Fuck, he's not here. Unfortunate, but it'll happen. Is this bait or is this for real? Bethesda Softworks has never developed anything good. Ever. Dude, really out here talking about all kinds of obscure bullshit in my chat. Is it really that believable to think he doesn't like anything Bethesda's made? This guy talks with capitalization and periods. Holy shit, 15k on the line. Divisive. 
feel like everyone at some point has enjoyed at least one Bethesda game. That's kind of, it's kind of hard to believe that you wouldn't have fun or enjoy at least one of them for a bit, you know? This one ended up at four to five, which is very interesting because this is bait. Although everything Bethesda's made controls like playing Mortal Kombat 11 with a Sega activator, who even knows what the fuck that is, some of what they did in the past was at least fun. Who bet so much on real- Alvi did. Alvi did. Have fun with my points. He said ever. He said ever, dude. Oh, that's such badly written bait. I can't believe you fell for that. You're so foolish. What the fuck? I'm almost back to my original 120k. Do we do Dragon's Dogma Wii Sports? Those are old stamps. Oh, no. Ooh, Rakio likes Dragon's Dogma. Maybe we'll talk about that soon. The Steam Controller is best controller for everything. Who likes the Steam Controller? We'll do that after this. We'll do that after this bet here. For everything, yeah. Ooh, I know this. He's like, ooh, I know this. I know this one. I know this one. I own a Steam controller. It's currently in my living room, under three layers of dust. I did use it. I used to use it for Dark Souls, actually. I used it once. Dude, Team Bait is just not throwing down points. You guys are embarrassing. Yeah, I used it for DS3. I redeemed, I saw, I saw. We're just doing it after this. Five percent to 95 percent. Four to four, the users was actually completely equal. Now, you might be shocked to find out. This was bait. Great controller, but some games it's pretty horrible for. Shit for fighting games, and shit for retro. For everything. For everything. It doesn't have a D-pad. How are you supposed to play fucking retro games on that shit? How are you gonna play Super Mario 3? What the fuck is your problem? <laughs> Weird, champ. You're cringe. Fuck. <laughs> <I'm racking. laughs> Alright. Let's roll for Fortnite Gods class real quick. That's loud. You are a hunter. Look at that. That's kind of cool. Louder? No. How did you spell that shit? The Fortnite God. You are a hunter. And I wrote it down in the document. So now we will never forget. Paste. Uh, let's find another Mario Party a Mega Mix collection. Medley. Uh, use it. I need a new compilation. That one was about to end. Nintendo Summer Music Mix 2019? No. Whatever, we'll just keep playing that one until it ends, I guess. What does that mean, because I'm new? Well, you see, every member of the Taizai stream is a member of my party. At the end of the day, streaming is a lot like an RPG, where, you know, we start off with a couple friends, and we're out on a quest to save the world. You already did that. You don't need to do it again. You're not getting your points back. That's cringe. You can't reroll. Reroll costs more. There's a separate command for that. Uh, and we're on a quest to kill God. And so you are a hunter in my quest. 
You got 350 channel points for one bit? What the fuck? No. You're fine. Alright. Next one. Ooh, we're on to tier J now. Unmod or Magus. Let's roll for Carmine real quick. You are a ninja. <laughs> Me. If you join the Discord, you can see the, the, the spreadsheet that lists everyone's classes and in the Taizai stream channel. Very cool. It's because I'm Asian, isn't it? The wheel knows all. Huh? Oh. I made the image wrong. I made the image wrong. I made the image wrong. Whatever. I'm sorry, TJ. I made the image. Why are you spending your points? You're supposed to be gambling them. Fuck. Spend time in the casino more. <coughs> Let me just turn this off real quick to make sure. Okay, these ones are made right. Let me make sure all of our slim are made right. Okay, the rest of them are made, right? Sorry about that, TJ. You think Thrill feels good? Okay, the rest of them are made, right? But TJ said it's bait because he doesn't have that shit of taste. Weird Keely was too much of a coward to nominate Thrillville for best ongoing game. What a fool. If it was my Game Awards show, I would have let it rock. That's why you guys need to get me to the top of Twitch, so that way I can be on the epic uh, Game Awards stream. Shake? Please? I'm counting on you, I can't do it alone. That's why we're building our party up. See this triumphant music? We're building the party. We need as many of as we can get. Anyways, the first three Pokemon generations are horribly dated. Is this real? Or is he baiting? Is making this one up to piss you off? Jinx was fixed by the third generation. And he's talking more, like, as a whole. Like, yeah, there's a couple dating things, but that's just, like, one fucking character, you know? The 90s were a different time. I, I guess that is dating, yeah. I'll be betting big, what the fuck? Alvi thinks the games hold up quite well. But Sword and Shield, what about them? No, this is the generations, not the Pokemon. You fool. You utter simpleton. Emerald and Sword, and I know what I prefer. Interesting. Think he's being real? Wow, what a split! What a split! 6-2. Gamers, TJ says it's real. Games, not the Pokemon themselves to clarify. Trying to go back and play the older games, you can feel all the different quality of life changes they've made since to make the series a hell of a lot more playable. Bro, have you actually played, like, Red and Blue? Have you played Red and Blue lately? Holy shit. It's not fun. Even playing, like, Fire and Leaf Green. The games are a lot more playable now. It's kind of weird. There was a lot on the line there. Alvi's in the negatives at this point, I swear to god. VR is a gimmick. And is far from the future of gaming. F 
for now, yes. AR is the future of gaming. Hmm. People seem to disagree. If you're not betting big, you're cringe. Buzzy's betting big. Oh shit, Alvy's betting big. Holy shit. Alvy wants those points back. Hot on the line here. You need elite motion controller and not actual controllers. Already 15k on the line. Who's going to drop more on that? This could be a pretty profitable one. If you get it right. Important. I'm based because I have no points from betting big. It's true. I'll give it up for that. Maybe there should have been a reward for who can hit zero first. <laughs> that would have been funny. Who can hit zero first? <gasps> Duke! <laughs> Alright. It's two to five. And Tearsday says, this is bait. VR as a headset and goggles is in the future, but haptic feedback and easily accessible AR or VR glasses are probably going to redefine gaming once the tech catches up with the ideas at hand. This is true. Back to 171k. There are so many more ways of integrating our lives and our world into the game and creating an experience that is immersive playably and, like, sp spiritually. This will, uh... Yeah, VR as is is bad. VR as is is pretty bad. Yeah, the future is gonna be nuts. We might live long enough to see crazy shit. Absolutely nuts. Yeah. Digivolves into silence the pointless. I'll just make a command called empty points so I was gonna dump dump his wallet every now and again. from Skyward Sword was good. This comes from Copy Boy. We're done with Tears Day now. This is very spicy. Fee. I literally muted my fucking game every time she came on screen. She's cute and has a Vocaloid voice. But not good overall. You didn't know what the hell this is? This character. That character. <laughs> oh god! That's like three pixels, holy shit. I'm gonna see if Kavi is based or cringe now. <laughs> Yeah, it's Kabi boy, right? What does Kabi care about? Will you figure out his priorities in time? Hmm. Could anyone actually like Fee? No matter how uh, Hatsune Miku they are. Hmm. Hmm. This one was two to four. And he's being for real with you. Because she sounds like an android girl and I may have to think for that. He likes it. He's into it. <laughs> God damn it, God. Just Kabi things. Yeah. Fucking weeb. Holy shit. That's some anime shit right there. Have you seen the emotes he uses? Yeah, he likes V. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Very funny. Yeah, that one's real. It's okay if Ultimate is the last Super Smash Bros. game of the series. Kabi thinks Sakurai should retire? Oh, whoa. Please Sakura retire, retire so he can free mail. Why do I keep saying retire? <laughs> fair, Jam. Fair. I honestly do not want another Smash game. 
But why though? Why? I don't fucking know what's wrong with my mouth. So Rivals of Aether pops up. You know, I used to do this hosting shit. I used to, like, do this. I used to dress like this and go to events all the time. For Super Smash Brothers. This used to be me. Alvi dumped 10,000 saying it's bait. And everyone else says it's real. Actually, no, there's two other people with him. So this was three or four. And Alvi suffers once again because this is real. The only thing they can do to spice it up is switch up characters, but that's it, IMO. These two, but you've retired. Yeah, I did. Alvi doesn't know Kabi. Yeah. The series should, like, stop anyway, at least with from Sakurai. They really, like, they could go with a Fortnite or like League model where they just keep doing the same game but upgrading it. Fundamental reworks of the engine, I think, like doesn't need to happen anymore. Even if I'm not a big fan of Ultimate, they should just, you know, roll with it. Made back my points from the terrible VR take. Because at the end of the day, there's got to be something divisive with either between which games people play or which characters deserve, for, for example. And like, what ha what happens here is there's so many characters, when they make a new one, they're going to have to cut. They're going to have to do a drastic cut. There's no way they're going to keep this many characters with the same game, unless they literally just re-release the same game. Like, Smash Ultimate, now for the next console, the next console. That's the only way they're not going to cut characters. If they make a new one, they're going to cut and have like 20 characters. It's going to be wild. Ultimate is just such a weird title to follow up, you know? VR is very limited to what you can really do for gameplay. In the future, probably not. You think in small brain, you gotta think five head. Ultimate two. Yeah. They should keep trying to make live action adaptations of anime. How much do you disagree with Copy the Boy? More live action DBZ? Epic YouTube DBZ, but what if live action proceeds to get 10 million likes? Why can't studios do that? Wouldn't it be really good if a studio did it, but right? Maybe they should keep trying. There's a very key word in here. There's several keywords actually. Voted real for the meme. It might get it right one time. It's true, it's possible. Animation be wiped off the face of the earth. <laughs> I fucking love the reaction from that one, Alex. Definitely watch the VOD just for that one at least. That was so fucking funny. Oh my god. Unbased. We got four people saying this is bait. Three saying this is for real. Fellas. This is bait. They don't even keep the source material near them when making these movies. Sad face. Kabi does not like live action anime. You figured him out. Trying was not a keyword. It was bait. Ooh, we're getting, we're getting to my homeboy, uh, Michael. Unmod Kabi boy. You got your 13 points. <laughs> Slash mod rock solid. What did I miss? A lot. People think you're cringe. Kids start off drawing anime, do not learn the fundamentals of drawing with basic fundamentals, just proportion and rendering. <laughs> Kinda true, yeah. Alright, Mikey says On average, AAA games are better than indie slash small studio games. Is Call of Duty usually better than, like, indie shit on Steam? On average?
Yeah, you pissed a lot of people off, Darian. <laughs> Which is good, because that's the point of the show, isn't it? If it was my plan, I'll have to go through the VOD when I get a chance. Yeah, no problem, dude. We got 5.1k there. So six people say this is bait. Two say this is for real. Oh my god. This one is a bloodbath. You guys are suffering. Because it's real. While I believe more exceptional titles come from smaller studios, I feel like even if mediocre, AAA releases tend to hover around a bar of quality that makes them novel to a consistent extent. To clarify, often perceived passion project mentality going to, into most of these smaller projects as creating a polarizing dis distinction of hit or miss. <laughs> Run from 0 to 4k. No, you guys are cringe. No, 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 no. No, no, Mikey's not cringe for this one. AAA games are usually so mediocre. Meanwhile, indie games are either fucking Hollow Knight or <laughs> farty, shitty horror game or mediocre pixel roguelike that will sell two copies and is bad. No, 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 no. On average. On average. Euro jank. Yeah. Yeah. There are so many trash indie games. The diamonds in the rough are so shiny and there are so less exceptional AAA games. That's fair. But on average, if you just want a decent time, buy like Call of Duty or buy Assassin's Creed or whatever. On average, you'll get a pretty good experience. But if you're buying $10 indie games, the odds of you getting a good experience are actually far lower. The ones that are great are great. Yeah, yeah, exactly. A lot of bad indies. Farty shitty is 80% of the genre. Yeah, yeah. Gangsta Sniper. Gangsta Sniper. That's the fucking game right there, man. You unironically love Eurojank? Yeah, yeah. Eurojank is fucking hilarious. Yeah, there's <laughs> grab bag streams from Kony are some of the funniest shit on the planet. Oh my god. But yeah, yeah, no. You guys are dumb for that one. Dumb. <laughs> Forty percent of indie games are anti sims. Yeah, yeah. Resident Evil Six is one of the best third person shooter slash co op games around. The hell was the plot of Resident Evil 6? Hmm. And it's not for lack of playing it. Persona is the best game. No, Xylance, you're thinking of the wrong series. You fool. You are very dumb. Why is my death counter there? I just noticed that. What the fuck? Ooh, this song fucks. It's the remix of the Mario 64 Bowser theme. That trumpet? Oh, that's good. What the fuck? This one was five to four. And it's real. When we picked this up at launch, we weren't impressed with the direction the series was heading, but figured, how bad could it be? Instead of focusing on what Resident Evil should be, we were left with what an amazing, story-driven, action third-person shooter with some tight, fluid controls. The game is a blast each time. I can understand the disappointment from Perma Virgins who play these games solo only. Y'all taking it too seriously. <laughs> He added it as an extra note, but it was too much to write down, that he had this exact same experience with Dead Space 3, playing a co-op with a friend when they weren't satisfied with the franchise, and they just had a fun, dumb time. That's fine. This is a weird take. Makes sense, though. Some games don't have to be, like, excellent experiences. It goes back to that take about, it's not a good X game. So the fuck, what if it's not a good Resident Evil game? It's a great co-op third-person shooter where you're just doing rad shit and punching boulders and doing some crazy shit. 
Who gives a fuck? What a, it's not Resident Evil. What the fuck ever? What the fuck ever? There's other horror games you can play. It's that big of a deal. And then they went to Resident Evil 7, you know? So. This is real. What's next? I do not remember. Oh, Eco. Eco 3232 says Dark Souls 3 controls better on keyboard. Sound real, but I am always isn't right. It's not about whether we agree, is it? It's not about whether we agree. Whether we think this is a valid opinion or not, it doesn't matter. Is this fact or opinion? We don't care. Not our fight, not our battle. Is this person trying to make you mad on the internet? No! Oh, I was about to say nobody wants to put points on this shit. KB, I'm or die, motherfuckers. Alvi, Alvi continues to throw. He voted 66,000. I mean, 6,666 points. Now, y'all motherfuckers gonna hit 250k. You guys are betting baby amounts. Cringe. Go big or go home. You guys better start going big. You're about to run out of takes. We're running near the end of the show. You lost it all? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we are on the final stretch, so if, if you're gonna bet ever, you gotta bet now. You don't want your points for every bet, I just keep getting them wrong. <laughs> Alright, this is two to four on Eco. Eco? says it's real. Fight me, it does. And I'm sure many of you will. I am sure you will fight him, actually, next time you see him in chat. I am certain that you will. <laughs> I fucking knew it. I am certain that you will. I can't imagine it myself. Zero to 9.3k, let's fucking go! <laughs> oh, that's inspiring. All right. Oh, now we're to Rakio. We are on the final person. This is the last person with takes. Then we're done for the night. Wait, did I not? Oh, I must have gotten rid of a few. Cat Jam isn't a good emote. That doesn't sync up with any song. I did include one of yours, but I think I cut it at like the last second because I realized I had too many. I the problem is a lot of these were really funny, but I uh, I realized that as I was going through, I cut like five of them because I realized this would take fucking forever. Sorry about that. I think I had your uh, like the food one and a couple other things. I forgot like after I set all this up, I deleted a bunch. It's good that way. Yeah, yeah. I had like all of Alvi's, his Alvi's were all really good, but I thought that would be too much, so I cut uh, like two of his. All of Alvi's were good though, same thing with Tears Day. I wish I'd included more of Tears Day's because I ended up fucking up one of them. Or just, is the best. Is it though? Alright. This is real. Actually, not on BPM. 
it's actually not on BPM. Speaking of, low tier bait is Dragon's Dogma. Best game of all time. You think it syncs up, but it really doesn't, to be honest. I mean, if you're buying it on PC, you have to get Dark Risen. The game doesn't get worse with Dark Risen, you know. Pokemon Go is best game. Silence. You do these things that you know make me make people upset. Rakio is an amazing shit poster. Can you believe anything he's telling you? It's very low tier bait. Why are you voting real? Hmm. This one is three to two. And the answer is that it is bait. Dragon's Dogma is not the greatest game of all time. The next one, Jack 2, is the best game of all time. It wasn't, it might not be Dragon's Dogma, but Jack, have you guys played Jack 2? I haven't actually, I don't know. But I've heard very, very good things from this franchise. Jack 2 is pretty good, but is it that good? And it is the best game of all time? Of all time. The Shadow of the Hedgehog before Shadow of the Hedgehog ruined Shadow of the Hedgehog. Hmm. You gotta dump your points, guys. There's only two baits left, or two takes left. Is it bait, or is it real? There's this and one more. End of the show, end of the line. The big 12 points, cringe. All right. This one is two to three. And once again, it's bait. Jack 2 is not the greatest game of all time. Alright gamers, I'll put this one at 3 minutes. Wait, no, I can't do that. 2 minutes. 2 minutes for the last one. The last one. The last one. The last one. Are you ready for this? It's the last take of the night. World of Warcraft, any slash all expansions, is the best game of all time. It wasn't Dragon's Dogma, and it wasn't Jack 2. Surely, it must be World of Warcraft, right? Surely, it must be World of Warcraft, right? You could play that one game for the rest of your life. They can't all be bait, right? There's no way they're all bait. This one? Five to four. And to four people, I have to say you're very stupid. This is bait. They were all bait.
You are very foolish. That was very good. I should have made a thank you for playing slide, but I didn't. Last of Us 2 wins again. And that's the show. I hope you enjoyed. This was a lot of fun. Now, did anyone get enough to break the plate? Who has the most channel points? Who was the victor? I might lower it. You're down to 979 points. Is 42 enough? No. Also... Think you've got the most? Oh yeah, with how many? 20k? Everyone, sound off with how many points you got. We gotta decide the win the winner now, too. Which of these had the highest split? I'm dumb. Can you guys help me with that? Which of these have the highest split? You only gained 40k, Alvi? Here's what I'll do. I'll incrementally lower the, the redemption for it. And whoever can get it first... wins. Right now it's at 250k. I don't think anybody can get it. But what if I change it to 200,000k? Can anyone get it? Try and redeem. Community gold or plate, break the plate? No, no, no. Somebody has to be a winner. If it's a community goal, that's going to happen. No. No one gets money. Who had the who had the highest split here? Joe had one to eight. What was it? A bait. One to. No, Joe had one to. Everyone guessed it right. That was real. Darian had the most people fooled here with the with the Among Us one. Two people guessed it was real, seven people thought it was bait. He had the most people fooled. What if Max comes in and just redeems Blake and play? That'd be very good content. I'd be happy. You said Among Us public lobbies were actually pretty fun. And everyone said, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Wow, with that, the Mario Party music just ended. You actually do find the fun? That's crazy. Nobody can break it for 200,000? Let's try 180,000. Can anyone break it? That plate needs to die. Alfie could've. What a fucking dummy. Another reward denied. Time to interview the four devs. How are you gonna break it? The same way I have historically. Yeah, everyone guessed Max is right. Let's do the count. Let's count here. Bait. He fooled two people. We'll count it out this way. Fooled two people. Fooled uh, three people. Fooled four people. Darian fooled seven people. Fooled four people. Fooled two people. A little more so you don't have to watch it. Want to use a baseball bat? No. Incorrect. Fooled one person. Fooled two people. Fooled two people. Fooled three people. Yeah, this is gonna be Darian. What the fuck? Dude, you're so weird. <laughs> you are so weird. What the fuck? Wait, hold up. Triple A battery also baited seven people. Hold up. How do we do a tiebreaker? Gotta go by ratio? Oh, true. Three to seven. Oh, you're right, Darian still has it. The other isn't? That's fair. 
should have spreadsheet this nonsense? I don't care. You know me. Real. Pay to three people. Gotta pay to four people. Pay to three people. Gotta go by ratio. Yeah, Darian wins either way. Yeah. Pay to five people. Pay to four people. Like, everyone submitted a lot. I had to trim this down a lot, as you can tell. I used Rakios because th those three in a row are so fucking funny. Those three in a row are so fucking funny. That's the only reason I used all of his. That was so fucking funny. Oh my god. So fucking funny. <coughs> Just say the real victims of the friends we made along the way. No. Yeah. Mikey baited six people, and five people there. Consistently, Mikey baited a lot of people. This takes just spicy. Did I have any wild ones that you didn't use that you can toss here in chat? No. Rate this, uh, I'm just gonna actually ban you. I don't know what you typed, but you're getting banned for it. That's a weird thing to do in somebody's chat. Do, do, do. Yeah. GG. As if I care. The fuck? Cool. That is a really weird thing, yeah. I'm not going to- I'm not going to be nice. Winner's Darian! Darian, send me your PayPal info. DM it to me on Discord or something. All right, I'm gonna lower the chair breaking to 160k. Can anyone redeem it? If somebody can redeem it. This was it, by the way. What? This was bait of the night, or take of the night. That's crazy. Nuts. Dude at bars though? Oh, was it a wrap? <laughs> That's kind of funny. Alvin, can you redeem the plate or no? Alright, we'll lower it once more. You only got 165? Yes, you can. I, it's set at 160. You dumbass. Yeah, I lowered it. That was the point. I've been lowering it incrementally. Ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen. It's time. Oh, hold up, I know what I need to play now.
Oh my, oh my. <laughs> Pretty good split, right? I swear that's right down the middle. That's really good. What if I what if I mail one of these to you, Alfie? Then we can both have a, a half of the plate that we broke together. That'd be kinda cute, right? That'd be kinda cute. We could both frame it. <laughs> That'd be pretty good. That's a cute idea, yeah. 